The busiest time of year is here once again. My name is Tom. I'm going to be redesigning all 10 of the new 2022 Formula One cars. We've finally seen one. Haas dropped it early doors out of nowhere, gave very, very little notice. Before we get into the redesign though, first I'm going to look at what we've, we've got from the Haas, rate whether I like it or not, because there's a lot to take away from these renders beyond just livery. And then we'll crack on with my interpretation. I'm trying with these to keep the design that I do in the same vein as the real thing, just my interpretation. But let's not waste any time, let's crack on front, rear, side, top profile views of the 22 Haas. What do I think? Look, most people said it when it dropped. It is broadly similar. To be fair though, when you bring up the 2021 Haas, there are more differences. The color palette is identical, but we see that with cars time and time again. This felt particularly samey, but actually it is quite a departure. There's nowhere near as much Russian flag vibes. Yes, it's the same colors, but it's not as blatant as last year. Look, a livery is only as good as the car that it is on. And we're seeing this model for the first time in this specific version. We've seen loads of interpretations of the 2022 car. This interpretation isn't the best looking. It doesn't help. They've got bloody hubcap wheels on it. At least make them sparkly or something. Come on. Last year's Haas for me beat a lot of other liveries. It was middle of the road. I don't like this livery body combination quite as much as I did on last year's car. The size of pieces relative to the car, so the size of the stripes, the size of the Haas logo, the size of the number, they all seem a bit too small relative to the size of the entire car. If this Haas logo was a lot bigger, there's loads of white space here which isn't being used. I'm not too keen on the one-on-one -on -one being right next to your Alkali. It makes it look like they're together where actually one-on-one -on -one and Ionos is part of the same company. The Alkali on the front wing end plate is a bit too squeezed in because that logo's a long and thin one. Works on the side of the car, doesn't work on the side of the front wing though. And actually for me, the blue and the red coming all the way up to the nose is a bit too much because you've got the red, white, and blue on those three main panels, which I think works nicely. They're kind of our main critiques of the livery. But again, you look at the car model. I mean, look at how small the inlets are on the side pods. That's mad. You kind of got the triangular inlet as well above the driver's head. Something we've seen some teams use in the past, but not all. You know what? Maybe this car body design is going to be rapid. Maybe it's going to be similar to the Ferrari because, of course, we know that Ferrari powers the Haas. They're working in close collaboration, but also you've got to bear in mind that this isn't going to be the final car. Haas aren't going to put all their cards on the table and show off any features on the car that they're not happy to be out there in public domain, right? From what I've gleaned, this seems to be one of the earlier iterations of the standard 2022 model, but with some updates made that uh, maybe Haas are just like, yeah, cool, like we're going to show off a like squared off front nose. Maybe it will look nothing like this in real life. Who knows? Maybe this is just a curveball. The renders look super smart. It does showcase the car. I haven't got a problem with Haas not using a real car for these photos. Power to them as far as I'm concerned. The renders do look good. So for me, the design, I'm giving it a four out of 10. For me, it's a slight step back from last year's but the physical aesthetic of the cars last year I preferred compared to what we're looking at right now. And that's the thing, F1 designers don't mind making a car ugly if it makes it go fast, circa 2014. It's not about the aesthetics, it's about how quick they can make this advertisement board go, because that's what an F1 car is. So now for my adaptation, but before I show you, one thing I do wanna kind of get out there, creating a concept livery is many, 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 many times easier than doing the real thing. I can just make something that I think looks good. I don't have to worry about a sponsor being like, we want our logo to be this big, and another sponsor being, we want our logo to be that big, and then why is our logo there? Why is it not here? I don't have to worry about shareholders sticking their nose in and being like, no, actually, can you change that? I don't care if it makes it look worse, because look, ultimately, like I said, it is an advertisement board. I can just sit here, make a nice design, stick the logos wherever I like, and it's fine. But the real livery designers don't have that privilege. This livery was the brainchild of Brandon Sieber, if you don't follow Brandon on Twitter, get to know, link in description. He did a great thread talking about exactly this because not only all the stuff I've mentioned, you gotta consider panel gaps, you gotta consider like logos working on parts of the cars where they can be easily applied by the mechanics. It's not that straightforward in real life. So yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. Now let's take a look at my rendition of the 2022 Haas. Now, first and foremost, I've used this 2022 car model before if you've seen my What If series. And for me, this 2022 car looks 
infinitely nicer than the model we've seen. I mean, just look how nice the rear wing looks and I don't know, the profile of this car for me is significantly nicer than what we've seen. Again, just physical aesthetic. So that for me is gonna make the livery look nicer. Cause not to blow my own trumpet, but I do prefer this, okay? So we'll start at the front. I've kept the front of the car pretty similar actually, but I've actually extended the black across, not just that front plane, but the, the second one in. And then there's a red one and then a split between the blue and white there. I like that element on the front wing. I think that works really well. So I've kept that. I've made the Haas logo on the nose a lot bigger. Again, I think the one on the real car is, is smaller than it needs to be in my opinion. So I've made that bigger there and I've brought more sponsors down the nose because as much as Haas don't have the most sponsors, they do still have a fair amount. And on the real car, they're just tiny underneath the Haas logo on the side. So I've made them shine a bit more. So we've got Under Armour, we've got Haas C&C. And, C. and if we come around to the side, there's plenty more. Shoe Berth sits here. And then if we zoom in, you've got Tree Corp, Maui Gym and Cyrus Geneve, G G G Geneva, but in Swiss. And one on one Ionos there, which, you know, fair enough, but Squarespace is the better all in one website builder, I'm just saying. On this model, you can stick a logo down here on the black as well. So Under Armour fit in quite nicely. And I've also put Alpine Stars logo on the end plates of the front wing, moving your Alkali onto the front wing itself, because actually the Alpine Stars logo, you can kind of flip it and, it and it works on both sides, fits that space perfectly. Top down on the car, obviously the onboard camera is pointed in a certain way, so you always get loads of logos on the halo. So has your Alkali's here, your Alkali's there as well. And on this model, there is a very kind of flat top edge. So Under Armour logo had to make an appearance there. They're of course Mick Schumacher's personal sponsor. Rear wing, we've got the big Haas logo, just like on the normal car. And again, one on one on the side, like I've already said. Now this design, it still has essence of Russian flag, but it's a bit more out there. So actually, initially it was red at the back and then blue at the front. I love a bit of color blocking, but then when I added the Russian flag onto the front, I was like, actually, no, that kind of having all three colors there, but then only red at the black didn't really work. So then I added the kind of blue as a hint color here. And you can see the red comes in here and then disappears underneath the car. And again, on the nose, I've dropped the blue and the red because I think there's enough on the car. And I think just having the black come in, we've seen this 2022 has has quite a narrow nose it's certainly a narrower nose than I've got on this car to play with here so that's why I've done that I thought the real thing was a 4 out of 10 what do you think rate it out of 10 in the comments below please don't be nice for the sake of it if you don't like it all about that constructive criticism because this is the first one of these I've done for a while so I was always going to be a bit iffy coming back you know one down, nine to go. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content in the near future from me. Thanks again. Have a good one. Ta-da.